Hi everyone, OT Nikki here for another episode of AT Fridays. Uh, this week, the product that we've got for you is called the Spill Knot. Uh, this is a piece of AT that is available on uh, supply websites like Amazon, Fish Pond, we've found online. Um, just Google Spill Knot and uh, you'll come up with um, not only the website of the actual uh, uh, manufacturer but also where you can purchase it. Um, this is a device, it's a, a saucer, but it's designed for carrying um, drinks and containers holding liquids, so say soup, um, to prevent the person from spilling them if they've got an issue carrying them themselves. Um, so it consists of this saucer itself. Uh, then you've got the strap, which is the key bit uh, that enables the physics of the device itself to work. And then you've got a little piece of non-slip matting that comes with it. We lost ours, so we've cut out another one. That's why it looks a bit um, <laughs> not straight around the edges. So um, what you do is you put your cup I've just put coffee in there so it just makes it a little bit easier to see. So you pop that on your spill knot device and then you, um, the idea is that you can carry it around and it doesn't spill the liquids from it. So I'm gonna give you a bit of a demonstration as I walk around. So as you can see here, if I just walk along, I can actually swing it quite a lot and the liquid itself doesn't, isn't actually gonna spill If you can see the liquid in the cup there, it actually doesn't, um, you can see it stays quite level in the cup, um, which is what it's designed to do. I wouldn't fill it up, you know, super high. You can see I've got a bit of a gap there on the top, um, but that's what actually pre prevents the spilling. So you can actually swing it, you know, quite, quite significantly and um, it doesn't spill. However, if you've got that tremor, you will see that it gets does get quite jumpy and it's it's really i don't think designed for anyone with more than a very very slight hand tremor because then you are going to get spillage with it so um good things about it i think it would be really useful for people with joint protection issues so those that can't uh use those movements of gripping onto a cup as they want to carry it from point a to point b so say the kitchen to a lounge room uh because it just requires you to pop your fingers through that loop there and you could carry it along while maintaining those principles of good joint protection. Um, I think it would be really useful with that population. I also think it would be really useful for people with balance issues, um, so that might have to use a mobility aid. I think it would need a little bit of a trial with a mobility aid, uh, because it does, the spill knot itself does acknowledge that if you bump it, um, then it will, it is at risk of spilling. Um, the other thing is it does, another limitation, it does say not to use hot liquids with it uh, because if, if they do spill, it's not a spill proof solution, the person is obviously at risk of scalding themselves. And obviously, unless you're like me and have sensory issues that mean you don't drink hot drinks, um, a lot of people would be wanting to use this, I think, with, with hot drinks like tea, um, coffee or hot soup. No one's drinking tepid soup that I know, except me, of course. Um, uh, so uh, I think it's really only useful in those populations. It does say not to use it while driving. I think that's probably an important point to note, but does recommend that it is can be a useful device for if you're traveling on um, uh, modes of transport such as a plane or a boat. It would be really good on a boat um, if you had to carry a drink um, or a submarine it says um, I, I don't know about you I haven't been looking for a solution to carry my drink on a submarine but there you go that's an option um, so once again uh, the device for this week I think it's got some uses I wouldn't discount it but I would be aware of the limitations with this product as well it's not um, a be-all end-all solution all right see you next week